I've made it out to the Circuit de Veneuve. It's a Formula One racetrack here in Montreal to do my first 20 minute block of riding. It's done, it was fine. And I used that 20 minutes to actually get here because I kind of like to cut my time short all the time. I have a few minutes to check things out. First rest over, time to go again. I'm on my second lap. And that means the second 20 minutes of riding. This 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off format is what we'll be using during Race Across America. My team, called Team One Mile, is made up of eight riders. We're going to split off into four pairs and each pair will ride during six hour shifts every day. During that six hours, each duo will ride 20 minutes on and 20 minutes off. One person will be on the road riding while the other person will be recovering in the follow vehicle. I'm trying to replicate this on my yeah. own tonight. That's the end of my second block of 20 minutes and so far so good. I'm having a lot of thoughts go through my head as to what's the best strategy for pacing that I should probably remember to drink a little bit more because I haven't even had a single sip of water yet. And I'm also trying to think about what type of things my teammates might want to know from this experience so that I can pass on some helpful information to them in case they don't have a chance to do this type of training before the race starts. This is my backpack where I've got supplies for all evening. I think I have more than what I need. I've got extra clothes in case I get sweaty and disgusting and I want to change. I got some granola bar snacks, milk drinks. I have a spare front light. One is already mounted on my bike. Thank you very much to my neighbor Stefan for lending me his lights because mine are in California at the moment. I have a flat kit. I have, this is a classic. And I have a long sleeve jacket and I have a wind vest in here too. Oh, I also have a little pump. All right, time to go. Lap three. This is actually feeling easier than I thought so far. I don't know why I thought it would be harder than it is. But at the same time, I'm thinking I should not be too cocky because I still have a long ways to go. Well, luck would have it that my third rest is at a spot with benches. This is pretty luxurious. This exercise is all about learning how to prepare. And today I didn't prepare perfectly well, but I still made use of what I had on hand. Work with what you've got. That's one of my cycling mottos. So I found this big bag and I dumped a bunch of salt in it. It doesn't taste very good, but I didn't have any um, drink mix. So this is another lesson. Prepare with a proper hydration mix and write Ziploc bags on my grocery list. Throughout this entire exercise, my goal is just to keep a good steady tempo pace. I never want to go far into the red zone, but all this stopping and starting is making my legs feel a little bit funny. There's definitely some fatigue that's accumulating. By the end of the next stop, the sun had started to set, so to stay safe, I turned on the light that's integrated into my Senna R1 Evo smart helmet. Just a little past 10.40 p.m. and I just finished my next shift. And luckily, my stop is pretty close to this water fountain because I'm pretty much dry, I'm out of water. I'm gonna be a little bit more careful on this workout and most of all for RAM that I'm always hydrating and then I'm keeping track of how much water's in my bottles so I make sure that I don't go dry. Okay, so, well, I had to cut the penultimate stage three minutes short because we got a flat tire. I'm kind of disappointed because I wanted to do the, the ride as I planned and the training as I planned, but three minutes isn't too bad. And, uh, I, sh I should be able to fix it. I don't have super strong fingers and this is actually an issue, but where there's a will, there's a way. I'm gonna make this happen. Yes! There's pressure in this tire. Sweet, mission accomplished, okay. And I still have eight minutes to put all my stuff back in my bag, get back on the bike and start my next shift in time. And I'm gonna do an extra three minutes to make up for it. What I cut off because I got a flat tire. Back in business. All right, this is the last 20 minute interval before I head home. Now that was a super interesting training ride. I've never done anything like this before and it was a lot of fun. I learned some stuff. I thought about a lot of new things I've never thought about. And I'm really looking forward to going over everything with my new training PT.
Peaks coach, Joy, and I'm also sharing my thoughts and my my lessons that I've learned with my Team One Mile teammates who I'll be doing Race Across America with.